Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're at the start of our journey asking the most important question first, which is what is the MS-900 Microsoft 365 Fundamentals? So the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals is an entry-level Microsoft certification. It has absolutely no prerequisites, so you don't need to have any prior cloud or SaaS knowledge to learn this specific course. The course teaches the cloud fundamentals such as cloud concepts, types of cloud computing, and the benefits of migrating to a cloud environment compared to an on-premises infrastructure, the core Microsoft 365 services and concepts. We'll be going through the Microsoft 365 solutions that improve productivity, facilitate collaboration, and optimize communications, such as SharePoint Online, Microsoft Viva, and Microsoft Teams. We'll cover topics related to the endpoint and deployment options in Microsoft 365 like Microsoft Endpoint Manager, Azure Virtual Desktop, and Windows as a Service, Security, Compliance, Privacy, and Trust in Microsoft 365 like Multi-Factor Authentication, and Defender 365, and we'll cover the Microsoft 365 pricing of subscriptions, licenses, and support offerings for services. Here's a simple definition of what Microsoft 365 is. So, Microsoft 365, formerly Office 365, is a line of subscription services offered by Microsoft, which adds to and includes the Microsoft Office product line. It's a superset of Office 365 with Windows 10 Enterprise licenses and other cloud-based security and device management products. So, who is this certification for? Well, you should be considering the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals certification if you are new to cloud and want to learn the fundamentals and benefits of adopting cloud services in general and the software as a service cloud model specifically. You are a business user, administrator, or IT professional. You want to understand the capabilities of Microsoft 365 and how to build basic solutions and deploy cloud services in your organization. You are a senior cloud engineer or Microsoft 365 administrator who needs to reset or refresh their knowledge after working for multiple years. So now let's take a look at the Microsoft 365 certification roadmap to see where we would go after the Microsoft 365 fundamentals and what kind of roles would be associated with those certifications. So at the start, you get your Microsoft 365 fundamentals, which is at the fundamental level. After that, we have the associate level certifications, such as the modern desktop administrator, teams administrator, developer, or security administrator. It's really up to you to choose which field you're interested in. A common route would be something like taking the modern desktop administrator at the associate level, then moving to the enterprise administrator at the expert level. It's also common for people to take multiple of these associate level certifications. It doesn't have to be just one. This is to ensure they have a wide range of knowledge on all of these areas for possible career openings. Also, if you find the cloud to be really cool and interesting, you have options such as Azure Administrator and Azure Developer. From there, you could possibly take the Azure Solutions Architect or DevOps Engineer at the expert level. So you see there are several options for you to choose from, and these are not all the ones on the list. Once again, it's up to you to decide what you want to specialize in. And there is no perfect route, but these are just a few suggestions for you to decide on your own. So, how long is it going to take to pass this certification? Well, it's going to really depend on your background. But if we had to generalize it, we can look at it as kind of a scale. And so if you are at the beginner level, you're looking at roughly 15 hours. And when we say beginner, we're saying someone that has never used Microsoft 365 or Office products like OneDrive, Teams, SharePoint, Purview, etc. Someone that has never used Microsoft Azure or any cloud provider, or someone that has no tech background or experience. And when we're looking at the other side of the spectrum, which is someone that is experienced, we're looking at somebody who can watch this at 1.5 to 2 times speed and are able to absorb this information very quickly. So they have practical working experience with Microsoft 365 and is very familiar with using them. They have experience with Microsoft Azure or any cloud provider like a WS or GCP, so they can easily translate that knowledge. Or they have a strong background in technology where they've worked in the industry for many years. And so you know their study time is going to be a lot shorter at five hours or less. And so on average, most people are going to take about 10 hours to study for this course. And when we talk about the kind of stuff you'll be doing, it's going to be 50% lecture and labs. And we call them follow alongs, where the idea is you follow along in your own account. And then 50% is the practice exams. So if you look at the length of the content, which is around four hours, then you know you should spend as much time doing practice exams to pass. And the recommended time to study is about one to two hours a day for roughly eight days.
So what kind of effort are we going to have to put in to pass the exam? Well, you have to watch the lecture videos and memorize key information. You'll need to do hands-on labs and follow along with your own account. Although as a fundamental certification, the certification is not very heavy on hands-on material, but it will still provide a much greater understanding of the topics you'll need to know for the exam, and you will need paid online practice exams that simulate the real exam. And the last two here were things that I used to never suggest because you could literally just watch the videos and pass. However, Microsoft has recently updated this exam, so it's more difficult. And so for these last two points, you do have to do these two things. For the paid online practice exams, that can be hard for some people. So I've made it easier for you by providing you with a full free practice exam on exampro.co slash ms-900. And so you just have to sign up with no credit card required, and you'll get a full set of questions that simulate the real exam. So for the contents of the exam, it is composed of four domains, and each domain has its own weighting, which determines how many questions in a domain that will appear. So for domain one, which is cloud concepts, we're looking at 10 to 15%. For Domain 2, Core Microsoft 365 Services and Concepts, we should expect 50 to 55% of the questions from there. This is where the most amount of questions are from. For Domain 3, Security, Compliance, Privacy, and Trust in Microsoft 365, we're sitting at around 15 to 20% of the questions. And for Domain 4, Microsoft 365 Pricing and Support, we have roughly 10 to 15% of the questions. So just to emphasize for Domain 2, you will need to know a wide range of the Core Microsoft Microsoft 365 services, but you also need to know in depth about the core services. So where do you take the exam? Well, at an in-person test center or online from the convenience of your own home. Microsoft is partnered with the test center network Pearson View, and it offers in person or online, and these exams are proctored, meaning there is somebody watching you to ensure that you are not cheating. In order to pass the exam, you have to score 700 points out of 1,000, and so 700 generally equates to 70%. But it's around 70% because Microsoft uses scaled soaring, meaning that they could adjust it based on how many people are passing or failing, so always aim to get higher than 70%. The exam contains 43 to 50 questions, so you can afford to get roughly 10 to 12 questions wrong. There is no penalty for wrong questions like minus one, so you should always choose an answer. And the questions come in a few formats, multiple choice, multiple answer, drag and drop, and yes or no questions. The duration of the exam is one hour or 60 minutes, so you have a little more than one minute per question. The exam time is 60 minutes, but the seat time is 90 minutes. Seat time refers to the amount of time to review instructions, show online proctor, your workspace, read and accept NDA, and complete the exam and provide feedback. And when you do pass the exam, the exam is valid forever. Microsoft's fundamental level exams do not expire, and you do not need to do a recertification. So that about covers the introduction of the course.